Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face. And you know, I don't love the fumes that it's constantly putting out, but I am impressed that this generator seems to have infinite gas inside of it. They don't make them like that anymore. <laughs> Shout out to Faye Otter, who says, I want to see a game that presents itself as a horror game where there are strange sounds, like thumps outside, or someone f or something falling, and plenty of opportunities for there to be jump scares, like opening a door, walking down a dimly lit hallway, in the woods, and so on. Uh, the characters would be doing simple tasks like collecting an item to fix a generator and to solve puzzles. At the end of the game, the sun rises, and it would be revealed that the characters were just paranoid, and there was no danger at all. All of the strange noises were just a raccoon. And then a meteor falls and obliterates everyone anyways. <laughs> oh no. Oh yes, and regarding a particularly unpleasant uh, manuscript page we found last time. Shout out to Justin Jones who says, I had a feeling that people that are turned into the Taken are still aware. Reference my comment from a few videos ago. There are things worse than death. And then he adds, you know, again, the uh, the Warhammer comparisons, but I thought this one is actually quite insightful, in particular. You know, there's a lot of, like, coincidences out there, but, uh... Well, let me just read it to you. Oops. The Dark Place shares a lot of similarities with the Warp from Warhammer 40k. This occurred to me as I was uh, reading the The End and the Death. Or even as I was reading The End and the Death. Volume 2, the penultimate end of the Horus Heresy slash Siege of Terra series. Consider the following comparisons. 1. In both the Dark Place and the Warp, time is meaningless. 2. Both the Dark Place and the Warp can be altered by belief. 3. Both spaces are alive with predatory entities that will do worse than kill you. 4. Both can affect physical reality under specific circumstances. 5. Entities from both the Dark Place and the Warp can be manifested into reality. And, uh, six, entities from both places can possess people and animals, e.g. the Taken and Demonic Possession. And that's a really interesting observation. There is a lot going on there. I had forgotten about the time thing. In, uh, 40k, they used the warp as their shortcut for, uh, faster-than-light travel. I mean, it's not ideal, since you're basically flying through hell, but, uh... Basically nothing in that universe is ideal, so that's par for the course. Yes. But, you know, you do hear about things where it's like, oh, there was a weird disturbance in the warp as this ship uh, you know, went into warp, so they actually arrived a hundred years after they arrived. Or a hundred years before they arrived. Uh, a uh, hundred years after they left. And, uh, you know, maybe they arrived a hundred years before they left. That's happened, too. There's a story about a uh, an orc who gets thrown back in time in that way and meets him his own uh, warband, and his response is to kill the past version of himself and claim uh, all the other orcs there. So he has literally double the army with doubles in it. Orcs are uh... well, they're the only species that actually enjoys living in Warhammer 40k. I will say that. They are biologically programmed to require violence, or they go insane. Like, they legitimately do not understand the uh, desire of other species to have uh, peace. And for God's sakes, the currency the orcs use is other orcs' teeth. I'm sorry, teeth, with an F. They're very particular about their spelling. Oh shit, I missed the turn off for the, uh... Oh, I see, my bad. The water down there looks weird barely moving at all. I shouldn't be able to see the, the forest floor this clearly. Just 
surface should be all churny from the sound of it. Did I say the forest floor? I meant the riverbed floor. I think this is the way. Well, I can't leap this wall, so I'll just have to go around. Oh yeah, it's like 60 feet tall. Of course I can't leap that. Every chance I'm going to go over there and the wolves will have respawned. Okay, this is the path. Better to start looking everywhere. I'll just turn left. This I did, I think. There's a rhyme over here. I did not. How embarrassing. Did I die or something? Three little deers ventured to roam and found a nice place to eat and play. One little deer never came home, and two of the deers cried all day. Oh boy, I hate I, I hate that. Hmm. No, unsubscribe from that experience. Uh okay, we got a house, we got a leaf, we got an egg and a chicken, we got a tree, and we got an eye. One little deer never came home, so it's whatever the opposite of putting the deer thing here is. Not a nice place to eat and play. The woods uh, Deer doll, clothespin doll, representing a deer. That's not right. Try the leaf. I guess you'd eat that. Deer doll. Ugh. I mean, she says that like she's disgusted. Like, how could I think this was the solution? Fine, I'll do the only thing that doesn't make any sense, because it's the only thing that was directly indicated. Yes. Oh, look at that. One deer on the house. Wait. Okay, that did it, but I don't know what it did. Yoink. fuck was that? I don't see any dark matter yet. Garbage bags. Don't tell me the FBC just left these here. Oh, that's right. Yes, I have been thinking for a while now that the fact that all of this equipment and all of those files, including files explicitly talking about, you know, altering reality and such, the fact that all of this was just left behind and abandoned suggests to me that every FBC agent who was here was taken at the same time. Well, this path definitely doesn't have any slime on it. Hello, yoo-hoo, dark matter! Do I have to walk over here to the ranger cabin? Also, what's this? Empty spot on the map, and it's a dead end, so it's very conspicuous. Apple cores, but they haven't gone rotten yet. Like, this just fucking happened. Like, the fucking... What was it called? The, uh... The Flying Dutchman, where they boarded the abandoned ship, and the meals were still warm. Just sat on the tables like they'd been eating when they just vanished into thin air. Actually, I can't remember if they were still warm, but they were definitely still on the table. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, fuck! Hey, guys! No! 
I just hit it in the head with my flashlight, and I felt really bad about that, because of the noise it made, but now I'm going to shoot it, because... Well, it's going to kill me if I don't. Where'd you go? Oh, I hate the fast wolves. I hate them so much. I hear you. I see the the, 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 the bushes moving. Oh, shit! Blow your ass clean off. Oh god, oh god. My flesh! Ah, ah, no sitches. Joke's on you, I reloaded! get me and it just dropped dead. I, that was before I shot it. Ugh. It's faking me out. It keeps duck fainting, you know? Going to the left and then suddenly juking back to the right. Oh, there's a deer carcass over there. One deer didn't come home that day. Where does she put the flashlight when she's reloading? Rest in peace. Your deaths will be avenged. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's some Discovery Channel stuff right there. Another charm. Rest in peace to you, too. You... Oh, you deserve better than this. Oh... I don't know why, but the missing eye was far and away the worst part. I don't like looking at that. I'm going away. Yeah, I have been here before. There's that thing right there. Which one was this? Uh, the first zombies one. I wonder if the flares would drive them back. Still not completed the, ob the objective, but hey, we're getting the idea, aren't we? Deer charm. Increases resilience against being staggered or interrupted. Hmm. What is a safe haven? Maybe I could get some health out of that. Or does that only count if there are enemies around? No, it got no healing. Fair. Fair. I suppose I did actually get healing because I killed them with a shotgun. So I was probably way worse than I thought I was. Oh, and uh, before I forget... Radio fa uh, rhyme found by the radio tower near Watery. The rhyme was about a deer being eaten by wolves. No, it was about a deer not coming home, but, you know. Oh, shit! Fuck me. Open it! Uh -oh. oh! Fuck me. Yeah, when in doubt, don't reload, just switch to your other fucking gun. Okay, yeah. 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 That was crazy go nuts. Oh my god, I messed this woman up. It's, like, somehow worse because it's so indistinct. Like, if I could clearly make out, oh, those are the ribs, and that's the heart and the liver, that would be, oh, well, that's unpleasant, but, you know. But it's just a red mess. It's a 
surprised their blood is still red, given how pale they are. Let's open up a space anyway. Not really known the uh, the taken to sneak up on me like that. I came out of the mind place just in time to hear a guy saying something about customers appreciation. <sighs> on a side note, I know that they're, now they're quoting uh, Alan's manuscript. But what fucking manuscript has a character go ka 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 ka? Kind of reminds me of, uh, Stargate episodes when Daniel was speaking with Yunus. Kakika! And they were pretty sure the one who they liked was uh, named Shaka. Save room, save room, save room, save room, save room, yes! Oops. Take that! Those guys are dead for real. Okay, what do I actually have right now? Lighthouse charm, increases the max amount of health restored in safe havens, increases quality and quantity of resources found, increases maximum health. I really do need a bigger charm bracelet, because that thing about staggering sounds really good, but... Maybe I'll swap it out for the uh, the lighthouse one. See how that goes for a while. Because again, I'm having real trouble even noticing that when, if when that happens. Only one bolt in this uh, stack. I should put it over here. Yes, good. It is almost funny to me, in a sick way, how uh, how many more uh, what are they called? How much more stuff Saga has than Alan? Like, look at all this. There's like two items in Alan's shoebox. Oh, I forgot this one. Ah, another coffee mug charm. That's what I got from the moose one. That is really useful. Hmm. Maybe if I find a boss fight that keeps kicking my ass. Oh, no, wait. By the time I get to a boss fight, it'll be an auto save. Shite. Oh wait, I should actually save after doing all that. I learned that dozen years ago. All right, where's that other thing I found? Uh, there. Next to the ranger cabin, yes. It's interesting how this game has elements of an open world game. It doesn't feel like any open world game I've ever played. Like, Far Cry 3 is kind of rough for the first few hours, but once you, like, really under start getting it, once you start putting some upgrades into yourself and get some good guns, you're kind of a god. Like, that game is kind of a power trip. Actually, the story in that one kind of leaned into that. Because your, buy is, your guy is buying all the hype about being the chosen one who will save us all. liked how that game kind of leaned into a lot of really basic video game stuff, but by the end of the game it's like, hey, yeah, in a real-life situation, that would mean you're not okay. Okay, first things first. I think it's just across the bridge. Well, first I'll look up here. Right, nothing. And there's an invisible uh, lump over here. Yeah. What's this? It's just a rock. That looks like a cave entrance just there. Uh, no way to actually get there, so maybe not. Still, it's an odd thing to have just there.
see a picnic table. And an Easter egg. Shit, I have been here. Which one was this? Hi, Hero. I think a few pieces of paper from my private fan fiction project got mixed into some of these stashes, but I don't know which ones. I posted some online, and they're getting pretty good reviews, but I'd appreciate it if you didn't read them. It's a privacy thing. Oops! Well, now that makes more sense, doesn't it? Wait. Okay, yeah, it says specifically uses the word fan fiction, which means it's supposed to be written all about an existing property. You know, it's a, you can you can just write a fucking story on the internet. You know, <laughs> it's just called a story. Fan fiction is specifically if you're writing about something that already exists and you're not one of the uh, the official writers. Ah, oh, fuck. Ay ay ay! And I just fought some wolves. Fuck that, actually. Going an armed for bear. No, no, I don't even think that would be armed for bear. You don't fuck around with bears. I recently learned that uh, polar bears, specifically, are not like other bears, and that if you know you're fronting on them, if you're in their territory, you're in the up and getting up in their face. If you're approaching their cubs, they're not going to growl at you. They're not going to make a threat display. They're just going to fucking kill you. Many people have reported not even realizing that they were pissing off a polar bear until it was trying to bite them. Oh, there's a bear here now, and he's trying to kill me. Oh. This could be a drained area. But there's just fucking nothing here. It's just a big empty field. Ooh! The sound of a nursery. Oh, it's just the one behind the house. Damn it. I can't even look at it anymore. Shazbot! I may have just tried to knock over the camera with a melee attack. Nothing happened. Really? This big area? Just nothing? Fuck. Okay, I can't get over there at all because it's inside the fence. You know, it did occur to me the other day that, uh... I'm almost certainly going to have to kill Ilmo in order to get those bolt cutters. I mean, it was fucking foreshadowing, right? Fuck the government, we have bolt cutters? Because by definition, Ilmo uh, Koskala is the only person in all of the region that we know for a fact has bolt cutters. Pet this one, yes. Oh, that's right, the bear. So the door is fucking flat on its uh, side. Well, butts. Apologies, burning dog fans. And I can't even just uh, consult fucking. The like game facts or IGN or whatever, you know, other walkthrough websites are available. <laughs> this is not a sponsored stream. <laughs> this is not a sponsored video. Even I said the wrong word again. Uh, because the game only came out a couple months ago, and people just don't know. Oh well. 
I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2. When we, uh... Make our way through more of Watery and try and figure out what the hell I do with the flooded areas. Ah. <sighs> At least I know I'm making progress. Till then, have yourselves a great day, and stay in the light.